What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to repair your PC once this error code comes up. So this is error code 0 times C 00000E. It states that a required device isn't connected or can be accessed. So when this happened to me, I recently installed Windows on my PC. It was working a little bit, then out of nowhere this error code came up. Today I'm going to show you a few different options and how to fix this error code and get your PC back to working. The first one and the most obvious one would be to turn off your PC and then just make sure all the connections to your SSD or hard drive are okay. So make sure from the motherboard to the SSD is fine. I would even pull out those cables going to the SSD or hard drive and plug them back in. Then turn the PC back on just to make sure. Next thing we need to do is go to the startup settings. But whenever I press this F8 key, it would just refresh back to this recovery page and it didn't work. So connect the USB that you use to install your Windows 10 application back onto your PC. So right here I have a PNY 128GB USB that I'm going to use that has the Windows 10 media installation installed on it. So I'm going to just plug it back in the PC. So with the USB logged in, we need to go to the UFI firmware settings or the BIOS settings. It might be on yours. So let's hit escape and go there. Here's the UEFI BIOS settings on my PC. On here, you should see somewhere where it says uh, boot priority. The Kingston SATA drive that I'm using as my main SSD, 240 gigabytes. And right underneath you have that USB that I just plugged in, the PNY USB. If you can, probably put this one up here. And then here on the boot menu, we're going to select this as the main boot. All right, so this is the screen you should get. So this is the Windows startup screen since we have the Windows media installation on there. From here, we'll be able to get to the boot settings that I was talking about earlier. It's like the language that you want to download the Windows software to. Next, and instead of doing install now, we're going to try two different techniques to repair it. And if we don't succeed, then we'll end up installing it. So hit repair my computer. Now, this is the startup settings menu that I was talking about earlier. So we can go to troubleshoot. And then we're going to do a startup repair. It might also say automatic repair on some. So let's hit that and Windows 10. And then just going to diagnose the PC or repair it for us. Now this might work for some people. But here it says startup repair couldn't repair your PC. So nothing. It wasn't able to fix our problem. Then we're going to have to go back to the advanced options menu. Now in this third option we're going to repair the BCD booting from the disk. So let's go back to troubleshoot and then command prompt. We're going to have to type these following uh, commands in order. Boot rec forward slash fix MBR. Next one is boot rec slash fix boot. Access is denied. Huh. But like I said, for some, this might work. On mine, I don't have access to it. So most likely it won't. Let's do boot rec rebuild BCD. My operation was successfully completed. So if that's good. We're going to restart the computer and see if the issue persists. So we're going to go back to the, the BIOS settings and then change the boot option to the actual SSD that you're using for the computer. I can change the boot menu through here. But here, let me show you another way to also change the boot menu. Go to advanced options in the bottom and then go to boot. So you have the boot options. So my boot option number one is that USB drive. But if yours is this Windows boot manager, which is your regular SATA drive, make sure you change this one to number one. Let's restart it and see what happens. Now, if rebuilding the BCD booting does not do anything for you guys, then the only option that I know on how I fix my PC would be reinstalling the Windows 10 media again. So let me just take you through that if you haven't done it already. You got Windows option here. Install now. Instead of going to the repair, just install. Activate Windows. So if you have a Windows activation key, type it in. But I'm just going to skip it for now. All right. So I'm just getting the Windows 10 home version. I don't really need these other ones. Accept the operating system, the licensing terms. Now we are not upgrading a older Windows here. We are installing a fresh batch. So we're going to have to do a custom install of Windows. If we we're real uploading, then some of the files and settings were going to be saved. But since we're not, we're going to completely get rid of everything. Now what you see here are the partitions on the drives. So you see I have 
zero, drive zero, drive one, and drive two. So I have a few different drives on my thing. Drive zero is the regular boot drive I'm gonna be using for my PC. So that's where I wanna install my windows. Now, since I have all these different partitions on here, I want to get rid of them. I don't need them since we're installing a fresh batch. I'm just gonna completely get rid of everything. And how to do that is just, you just click on it and hit delete. Unallocated space. All right, I'm gonna delete this one. Next one. And then you can see as you delete it, the total size of this one increases, the unallocated space one. All right, so this drive, 240 gigabyte SATA drive. So that's what I'm gonna use to install my Windows. Now this one are two other drives that I have. These are one gig M.2 SSDs as well, but I don't wanna install Windows on here. I just wanna keep these for memory. So I'm gonna leave these at, as they are. So click on this one and hit next. Then select what country you're from. I'm just gonna hit United States. What is the right keyboard for you? So I'm gonna hit United States again. Want to add a second keyboard? Not now. Now make sure you're also connected to the internet, to Wi-Fi at this time. So you can add your account. Now you can create a pin and do something real easy. Then you can choose all these privacy settings. I don't like any of them. Let's skip this. Then you can connect your Android phone. I don't need that. Then you can back up your files that were on the OneDrive that you signed in, your Outlook profile. I don't need that right now. You can get a free trial of Microsoft 365, skip. Cortana is the Windows voice assistance lady. If you want, they can accept, but I'm not. And here we are guys, we got the Windows home screen. So that error message should not appear anymore during the Windows boot up and you should be freely able to use your PC as you'd like. This video helped you guys, give it a thumbs up and comment below. Until next time, peace.